the Soldano SLO 100 X. X, 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 by Neural DSP. Amor relances, and now, we break it down, baby. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for being here. So Neural DSP is in the process of like revamping, I guess, a few of their plugins and they are starting from the bottom up, meaning that they basically started doing a bunch of their older plugins. But today when I was downloading the version of the 14X, which you can imagine is coming soon, I found out that they have the SLO 100. I was just like, wow, this is an iconic amp. I love the sound. I love that we have it on Amplitude as well. And the model in Amplitude is for free. So this one really piques my interest and I assume it does yours too because you're here in the video. So let's stop the talking. Let's get a guitar and let's start rocking, my friend. Zip. Today we're gonna be using my PRS SC Custom 2408. Just because I got so used to this guitar that now I know exactly what to expect from the plugins. Call it my review partner. All right, let's stop the jokes. <laughs> right, so here we are, the Soldano SLO 100X, which is the brand new version that Neural DSP is doing. If you're not familiar with the interface, go watch any other of my Neural DSP videos because I usually explain what the interface does. But today, my friend, I just want to get to it. Okay, so here we are. In this case, for me, it's a little bit different than most Neural DSP plugins because we only have one amp. So let's check it out. Let's see what the pedals are. Okay, we have a compressor, which I love. Let's try it out. Overdrive 1, Overdrive 2, and a chorus. As a pre-effect, that's fine. Cool. You know they're going for that 80s tone, right? Okay, and then let's see. Okay, the amp. I like everything. I like that they did this. Matching the color of the knobs so that you don't get lost. I think that's pretty good. And just basically all your usual controls that a Soldano has. No front and back button that I can see, no? Okay, cool. Then, of course, we have our cabinet. Let's see what microphones they have. Because I know lately they've been using like 47s and stuff like that. Let's see if they added that to this, which I don't think. Maybe the differences are just going to be in the plugin itself and not just actual sound and convolutions and all that kind of stuff, right? But let's check it out nonetheless. Yeah, 57, 421, 184, 414, 121, and 160. But do you need more than that? Not really. Let's keep going. All right, now that we saw that, let's see. Okay, we have the post EQ that they usually racked up here with their plugins and a delay and a reverb. Let's get some sounds. Okay, so I'm in my bridge pickup, full humbucker mode. Let's chug some ease. <laughs> So just to begin with, I want to say that I love it when a company gives you a default patch that sounds good, right? Nobody wants to hear a bad sound. <laughs> sounds like a really good model of a Soldano. Wow, really good. And I love how they're starting everything on 7, which means they're actually pushing the system from the get-go. Really, really cool. Very nice settings. I'm going to copy them. <laughs> wow, it sounds really, really nice and heavy, right? There's like some sort of like a bottom end situation that I'm really enjoying with this plug. And usually I want to say that most Soldanos in my head are like very bright amps. And this doesn't sound like a bright amp, but let's see what happens if we turn the... Oh, we were already in the bright mode. Very cool. Big nice, we have presence and depth. Wow, even pushing it like all the way, it didn't get ugly, right? Of course, it felt like too much. Wow, this might be probably my favorite high gain amp that I've tried. Like, I'm even thinking about tweaking it, but what am I going to do? It just sounds incredible. Why don't we just start checking the pedals? 
Wow. Okay. Yeah. Let's stop doting on the yam. Definitely high gain is its name. It sounds incredible. Let's switch to clean and see what's up. Boom. Oh, cool. So the plugin basically shows you what setting you're on. I'm so glad they did that. <laughs> the other day I was making a sound with one of the angle amplifiers in Amplitude. And since they have all these different settings and knobs and switches and everything, I kept getting lost. Like, wait, what kind of mid I have? What channel am I on? But yeah, you won't have that problem with this. This is great. Okay, but it still says overdrive. Let's go to clean. Exactly. Now let me push it here a little bit more. Let's push it all the way up. Okay, it is a little bit too much and it does go to 11. <laughs> Okay, we need to turn that master up, definitely. Let's see if it goes all the way up. Way, 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 way too much. Let's take it to maybe like the same 8 and 8. Let me get to my neck pickup. Single coil mode. I never thought that a Soldano is like a good amp for like a single coil pickup. And I still sustain that, but something about the low end in this one, it's a little bit better. But let's go back to humbucker sound. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Let's see if we can start tweaking stuff with the pedals. Okay, let's start checking this compressor. Let's see if we level match a little bit better. Yeah, I can definitely hear that compressor grabbing a little bit, but it sounds pretty natural and nice. It sounds more like a setting that I would use with this kind of compressor. I mean, that sounds pretty nice to me, right? Let's boost the compression all the way up and see what happens. Wow, okay, 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 we're getting that super compressed 80 sound. It almost sounds like a special, like a special effect, right? Like a radio. It's pretty good. It's a great compressor. I'm gonna say that. Like all the way super compressed like that. It's still pretty musical and everything, but maybe the slow. It's a tiny bit too slow. Let's turn, let's back it down a little bit and see what happens. Those sound really good though. But definitely I would not recommend you like compress like that with this thing. It does grab a lot. Past mid, it's a lot. Yeah, it was good here. So with my gain structure, I think maybe noon is the best setting. <laughs> let's see what happens here with the overdrive one. And let's just keep the settings the way they have them. But you already know that I'm going to tweak them. <laughs> All right, let's see what's up. 
Wow, 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 wow. I mean, that sounds good just the way they have it right there. And the reason why I like to back up the level is so that I can hear the actual overdrive of the pedal instead of just hearing what the pedal is doing when it boosts the level into the amp. Which of course is viable and you should do it and you should try both ways and try to get the sound that you want. And let me know in the comment section which is the way that you like to get your tone. And while you're there, remember to like, subscribe and do all those cool little things that we like to do on YouTube. And enjoy this little bossa nova, my friend. I hope your day keeps getting better and better and better. All right, let's keep going. It sounds really good. Wow. And honestly, these are usually the settings that I would have it in overdrive. Let me see if I just do my regular. Turn this to like, I don't know, nine. Yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> But at Unity, it sounds good. Usually, like you heard me say in the beginning, I don't think that a Soldano is an amp for like a single coil pickup guitar. But with this kind of overdrive, I think it is. Really nice. Let's see what happens if we combine that with the compressor. Pretty nice. I really like that. Okay, so, so far, everything in this amp sounds very usable to me. Talk to Humbucker Sound. It has that heaviness that a big, big, big high-end amp sounds like. Really, really cool that they were able to replicate that. Okay, let's see what happens in Soldano Overdrive 2. Wow, it's like spankier, huh? I like it. So this feels like maybe more like a vintage kind of overdrive and need this a little bit more modern. Oh, of course, because it has like this. High shelf. Let's see if we back it down a little bit to Unity. Now let's go back to the Overdrive 1 and do a little bit back and forth. Wow, they sound pretty different. Let's see if I match the tone a little bit better. Uh, it looks like sort of like around there. Same test. <laughs> Starting with overdrive one. I really like that one. Yeah, definitely one of my favorites. Let's try it one into the other, the overdrive one into overdrive two. I 
I made and it sounds really, really good. <laughs> Let's check this uh, chorus and see what's up. I mean, it sounds really, really, really good. Let's see what happens if we put it all the way up fast and super deep. I mean, that sounds pretty good. I got a little bit carried away. We're going back to these. Let's get back to that chorus, which I'm really, really enjoying. It sounds really, really incredible. Let's feed it with a little bit of overdrive. surprised about how good of a pedal platform this old Dano is. Really incredible. It's just a beautiful sound overall. And I can't believe that I left the depth all the way up all this time. And it just sounds perfect for the kind of clean tone that we're doing. And no wonder I was feeling that it was working really well with like the single coil sound. Let's push the bass and see what happens. I mean, that all sounds good to me. Definitely lacks a little bit of body though. I love how like vintage you almost got when I put the depth all the way up and the bass all the way up. Let me turn my tone all the way down and see what happens. Really beautiful, tone up and try the same thing and see what happens. I mean, that sounds really, really nice. What a great, great amp. I'm really happy that I tried this today. But it also kind of sucks because now I'm going to want to get it. And I'm saying all these things with this thing in clean, which is not even what it's supposed to be doing. But let's go back to overdrive. See what happens if we're in a neck pickup. And I'm not a shredder, so I'm sorry, I'm not going to be doing that kind of thing. But let's just put a little bit of effects because I feel like we can make this better. like sort of like blown away with the amount of like articulation that you get on every note I even forgot about the song at some point I mean that sounds incredible 
I mean, let's stop ripping off all these riffs, but wow, I'm pretty, pretty, pretty surprised. It sounds really good. Let me see the settings again. I, I'm, not, I'm not even doing anything. <laughs> That's my best attempt at like speed metal like that. That's where I'm starting to like actually feel the depth that it's like way too much. Let's go back to, I don't know, seven was it? <laughs> All right, my friend, I don't mean to keep torturing you, so let's just go get a few conclusions. <laughs> Thank you for hanging on there. Wow, I mean, I'm not even gonna like say anything other than the sound speaks for itself. I know I may not be the best shredder and definitely not the best guitar player, but man, the sounds are phenomenal. Like, it's like you really don't have to do anything. Just like, okay, yeah, just get the SLO from Neural and it's gonna sound great. Literally, that's exactly what's happening with these guys. <laughs> if you notice, like when I was doing like the delay and the reverb, I literally tweaked nothing. I just like put that thing on and let's go. And it sounded great. And even though it was definitely too much, definitely too wet, we didn't lose any of the clarity. And to me, that was a big, big, big thing. So overall, I don't know what the X thing means in Neural DSP, but this SLO is incredible. It sounds phenomenal. And one other thing I want to say, as you can tell, I need glasses and I have a huge screen in front of me, but most plugins are still a little bit too small because of the 4K resolution, you know, everything like downscales, right? And I'm really thankful that as you can see, the SLO is like really, really big. And usually they used to have like three different sizes and now they have this maximum which is beautiful for people with needs like mine. <laughs> that granted, I'm not like blind or legally blind or anything, but man, I do need some help. And when I have a big plugin like this, it's so much easier to navigate through it. But that's enough about me, my friend. Let's go to the comment section down below and let me know what you think about this plugin. And if you wanna watch another video, go watch this one right here. I'll be waiting for you right there, my friend. Thank you for being here today. Zip.